Hello, everyone. I wanted to check and see if you have a quarantine checklist. I've seen a few of those circulating and it's, uh, I think it's great because they're all really focused on self care for the most part. Uh, I mean, some of them are all, you know, getting out of my sweatpants for the day or getting dressed, uh, which, you know, is important positivity, but it's just, it's all focused on self care and really what you do um, for your diet and lifestyle really does matter right now. Uh, with what's going on. So I was just wondering if anyone wanted to share or uh, I was going to share a little bit about some of the things that I like to do um, that or I try to keep on my quarantine checklist. And at the top of that is uh, practicing gratitude. I know that uh, there's been a lot of fear and anxiety, feelings of uh, apprehension about this that's happening in this ever changing and um, kind of unprecedented situation that we're in. And, uh, and we know that gratitude really helps so much with fear. Um, it changes your perspective. It's really hard to focus on positive and negative information at the same time. So, uh, you know, that's uh, something that uh, I've done and, uh, you know, and also trying to be a role model at home uh, for my kids. You know, I've had some parenting fails for sure, but uh, you know, if you can focus on gratitude, it's it's really uh, transformational to see how that can um, very quickly change your perspective and reduce feelings of anxiety and fear, and uh, and make you really focus on what matters and what feels good to you. So, uh, you know, being outside is something else I try to put on my list to get outside every day. It's easy to stay inside. I have plenty inside to keep me busy. Uh, all sorts of things for me to work on. It's interesting, everyone, everyone's situation is very different. Some people are busier right now, some people are bored out of their mind. Uh, and, uh, you know, but for me, I'd like, I could be inside all day, I have plenty to do inside, but getting outside and working on my yard, um, just those, those little things, weeding, um, raking pine needles, uh, checking on my bees, that gives me a lot of gratitude. But also, you know, I have roses that have needed my attention for a few years and uh, tending to the garden, tending to my roses is something I try to do if not only maybe just for a few minutes and if you can get a little sun, if the sun's shining, um, I try to go out there when there's some sun and, and show some skin just a little bit and uh, get a little bit of good vitamin D uh, through the skin if we can, if the, if the sun's strong enough. Uh, connecting with family, we all hear how important that is. And, uh, you know, I like to just walk really to the end of the block or down the street with my kids. Uh, that's a really nice, quiet moment. They share sometimes, uh, you know, unsolicited sharing about what's going on with them and what they're going through. This is um, really a, a different uh, time for them. And it'll be interesting, you know, years down the road for them to reflect on really some of the challenges this is posing for them. But connecting with family, my in-laws live in New York City and it's been um, helpful for us, I think helpful for them too, to connect through Zoom. Um, very thankful for being able to do that. We of course talk about the social distancing, but the connections and just calling. Um, I know my, my grandmother who's 97 is in quarantine and it, um, uh, you know, a, a home health or a uh, uh, a care center and she's quarantined to her room. So if I call, sometimes I have to talk, call six times, but I get through to her and, and it's really nice to, um, to be able to make that connection. Uh, another thing that I do is try to sweat every day. There are a lot of different ways to sweat. If you have, if you're lucky enough to have a sauna at home, um, to do that. I try to do some high intensity interval training. That's good for the immune system, but sweating, a little bit every day is um, makes me feel alive to um, it's you know I know some people are just you know you can you don't need fancy in home equipment to do this just running up and down your stairs or uh, if you can't run up and down your stairs, there are other ways that you can um, uh, sweat so sweating is one of the things on my list and uh, prioritizing sleep uh, you know I, uh, I always say that sleep is a superpower. Uh, I try to do all of the things uh, at night to, before I go to bed to ensure a good night's sleep. I'm kind of a sleep nerd, uh, so I track my minutes of REM and deep sleep. But, you know, I know one of the things that is easy to do, um, sometimes not easy to take the time to do, but it makes a big difference for your sleep, 
is uh, even just a simple Epsom salt bath. So, um, you know, a couple cups of that in your tub for 20 minutes before you bed um, naturally lowers your cortisol levels, your stress hormones. So, I, you know, when I do that, I have such a better night's sleep. So, really important. Uh, hydrating well. We know that hydrating well um, keeps the immune system more resilient, and that's um, something that I uh, struggle with sometimes. So um, I'm using limes like I've never done before. And uh, just uh, when we do go to the store once a week, getting a bag of limes and cutting those, you know, squeezing them in my just regular water that I drink, or if I'm feeling extra fancy, maybe a San Pellegrino. So uh, that's how I'm hydrating well. Really important uh, right now, if I'm sure you've heard of that. And then I take my supplements, of course. Not everyone needs to do this. It's very individualized. Um, I feel fortunate to know what I need and I'm prioritizing my immune system now for obvious reasons. Um, you know, eating healthy is first, um, you know, then lifestyle. Um, but if you know some basic things that might be helpful for you, maybe some vitamin C and zinc. Uh, so I'm trying to do that. I don't like to take supplements. So I'm, uh, <laughs> you know, but I am trying to uh, prioritize my immune system. So I'm doing some of those things. And then um, strengthening is something that's on my list. Uh, we know that's important for health too. And, you know, I've seen some pretty impressive home uh, gyms in people's garages that they've set up. You know, people are doing lunges with pink cans that they have. And, uh, and I think that's, uh, you know, um, fun, whatever you can do at home. I, I've never been uh, someone to do yoga, but I've been, uh, you know, reaching out to yoga during this time and really working on my chaturanga and my, those low planks. I'm really enjoying those for the first time. So, you know, if there's something that you've always wanted to do, if it's, you know, CrossFit, there's some great free CrossFit now happening. If it's, you know, there's so many professionals that are out there offering courses online for free. There's so much access right now. Um, uh, on the internet that's available. And some of the, some people are just offering them for this short period of time. So it's a great opportunity to, to find something or do something you've been thinking of. You know, if that's uh, some Tai Chi, Qigong. Um, locally, there's some fantastic resources. I know um, uh, Embodiment Matters uh, is one they have. They've been doing online for a really long time. Carl Rabke and Aaron Giesemann Rabke. Uh, there's some online, of course, they don't have to be local. There's people all over the world and that's kind of fun to connect because we're, we're all in this together. Uh, um, let's see. And then lastly, I'd say learning something new, you know, learning something new is always important to having you, um, just be happier and feel better. Uh, right now I'm prioritizing, uh, trying to learn even, uh, you know, maybe two or three things about that's new about COVID. Um, research that's, you know, not necessarily uh, the news. In fact, I try to avoid um, some of the news channels that, you know, that can not necessarily make me focus on what's um, healthy for me, but the, the, the ever-changing information that's coming out um, that will help me with my patient care and, um, and the research. Uh, you know, the antibody testing, for example, is available this week. And, uh, you know, just every day it seems like there's new information and it's really coming at us. It, I feel overwhelmed. It's coming at me through a fire hose. And so I try to, um, you know, maybe just spend a little bit of time on that every day, maybe two or three articles. Um, you know, I have some great resources um, for my professional community and, uh, and um, just trying to get that information. So uh, I know some people are you know, I have a friend who's learning Japanese calligraphy right now. And, uh, you know, my husband's trying to improve his piano skills. So learning something new, I think is this is a great opportunity to do that. So I'd be interested in knowing if you want to drop your comment on what, you know, is on your quarantine checklist. I think it's great um, to prioritize self care right now. Uh, self care is really um, what does matter right now. So uh, thanks for tuning in.